Hi, I'm Charles Simon. I'd like to introduce the new open source software project, Brain Simulator 2. It's a spiking neural simulator with a strategic approach to AGI, a snappy user interface, a powerful neuron engine, and the added ability to easily create custom modules to perform any desired function and combine them into test applications. Many are included free with the download. Let's start with the Brain Simulator strategy. We can say for sure that AI has not yet reached AGI because some fundamental pieces are missing, including facets of intelligence any three-year-old can do easily. For example, playing with blocks, Sally can comprehend simple physics, that physical objects persist in reality, and that causes lead to effects over the passage of time. We can implement some of these ideas in algorithmic modules, while others are best implemented in neurons. These fundamental capabilities, the essential building blocks for AGI, are based on an intelligence model. We don't have a perfect AGI model as yet, but this model is a good general starting point and is being implemented in the brain simulator. Since we don't know the full scope of AGI and experimentation is needed, the Brain Simulator 2 project is targeted at trying out new ideas, starting with the simplest approaches. The Brain Simulator is an ongoing project and you'll see lots of new capabilities evolving. One important facet of software experimentation is the ability to control and modify your experiments and see the results easily. The Brain Simulator user interface has been tested with a billion neurons, but lets you drill down to examine the state and timing of individual neurons and synapses. You can think of a neuron network as a document which you can edit, save, and restore. Once you've built simple neural circuits, the user interface lets you copy them and paste them to create powerful functionality. The user interface is also your key to understanding how neurons can work together to implement AGI. The powerful neuron engine is fast, clocked at 2.5 billion synapses per second on a powerful desktop CPU. The neuron engine supports multiple spiking neuron models and it operates in parallel on multi-core computers and is extensible across machine clusters. Built on the neuron array, modules can speed experimentation by letting custom code perform any useful function on a cluster of neurons. The Brain Simulator project currently includes over 50 modules with functions for the senses of touch, vision, and hearing. For development, there are simulators in two and three dimensions, and for the real world, there are modules for robotics and camera and microphone input. The behaviors of speech, moving about, and moving objects in the environment have also been implemented. Internally, there are modules for maintaining an internal mental model and the universal knowledge store, which could merge multi-sensory input. Modules are written in a high-level language like C Sharp and are combined with neural signals to create AGI applications, which implement some facet of general intelligence. These all come together to form a virtual entity I call Sally. Sally can hear, speak, see, and touch her environment. Today, Sally lives in two dimensions. When Sally seems to understand her 2D environment, then she can advance to 3D or real-world senses. Sally can use her abilities to traverse mazes by recognizing landmarks, making decisions, and remembering outcomes. 
Sally can learn phonemes, words, and phrases. Associate words with actions, physical objects, or properties. Sally can see objects and estimate depths with binocular vision, find boundaries, strokes, and shapes. And Sally can push an object to a goal location. Many of these mini applications have their own video. In summary, the Brain Simulator 2 is completely free, an open source AGI research project supporting an experimental AGI strategy with a snappy user interface, a powerful neuron engine, and numerous modules and apps. For even more information, my books will be useful. The Brain Simulator 2 book explains how the program works and how to use it, while Will Computers Revolt delves into the why, when, and how dangerous of AGI. I encourage you to visit brainsim.org, download the programs, make comments and suggestions, and follow along to watch as the project evolves. Be sure to share this video with your friends and colleagues, and of course, thanks for watching.